beach. The wind blowing like crazy. It's kind of cold out here. And uh, I'm out walking, trying to get a little exercise. As you can see, the beach has hardly nobody on the beach right now because of the wind and cold. But I wanted to continue and first John. We have two verses today. You know, in first John, uh, what he did initially is tell us the conditions as to how to have fellowship with God and others so that our joy can be complete. Well, in chapter 2, verses 1 and 2, just two verses, he writes and he says, My little children, very daring thing to say, I'm writing these things so that you may not sin. But if you do sin, we have an advocate with the Father, the Lord Jesus Christ. And he is the propitiation for our sins, and not only for ours, but the whole world also. I want to talk about two words, uh, all from my memory. The two words are advocate and propitiation. What is an advocate? What well, Jesus is our advocate. He's like a lawyer. He comes to our defense. and those people that we get this to the ones that accuse us. us by bringing up our past, by bringing up things that the Lord Jesus Christ has paid for. And so what Jesus does is he acts as our defender, and he goes before God the Father. And when Satan says, you see what man he did? And Jesus turns to the Father and says, yes, Father, but I paid for that. And that's what he does for us. Now, Jesus is a really great advocate. He's not just an ordinary lawyer. Let me tell you why. First of all, he was tempted in all ways, such as the yet without sin. For that reason, he has a great understanding of what we go through when we sin. When we sin, we eventually give in. Jesus never gave in. He experienced the full cards of what the second reason is because he has justice and he understands every circumstance that was involved in what we do. And someday uh, we get to heaven and some things won't take care of in this life, they will be taken care of. And now he has a great understanding, he has a And in his power, he has the ability to forgive unlike man or unlike other people. And so we're thankful for that. So Jesus is our advocate in those three ways. He's also the propitiation. Oh, that's a big word. What does propitiation mean? It's simply this. It means that he's appeased God's holy wrath and satisfied his justice concerning us. Jesus, when he died on the cross, propitiated for us God's wrath that should have, been, should have come on us. He was satisfied with the payment that Jesus did on the cross. When Jesus went on the cross, as he said, that many ever committed, past, present, and future, he paid for. And God said, I'm satisfied with that. And so, the Apostle John writes and he says, you know, I'm writing this to you, my little children, not in the sense that we're little kids, but in the sense that, you know, we're still growing spiritually, that you may not sin. But when you do sin, recognize this, you got two things going in your favor. One, you have a lawyer who is, has won every case he's ever taken up. Second of all, his lawyership has always satisfied God's holy justice. Now, what does that do for you? What does that do for me? If I'm out here walking on the beach and I'm thinking back on my life and where I'm going to go from here, which I don't know, but I think what a loving God we have. 
that has made everything so easy for us if we would just have faith and trust and believe in him. Now, for those of you sitting at home, let me give you a last view of the beach. You can kind of see how it's windy out here. It's a pier over there. You can see the water, the waves breaking, and everything. It's really cold in there right now. Okay, God bless you all. Uh, I'll, I'll be continuing with First uh, John uh, next week, and we'll continue it through. Bye-bye.